Here we go with TD versus Trainer Matt. Up this, next. This is a Canada on Canada. This is, this yep. is a team kill almost. Kill. Pushing it. This early in the bracket too. You know, if you don't like the seating, just yell at Monster, you know. At Monster TV on Twitter with two arms. <laughs> just tell them how upset you are. So, CD being a Chandelure player, uh, Trainer Rap being a, a Mewtwo player, both very, uh, very fundamental players. Very, uh, they have. Trainer Matt especially is a very interesting game plan. One, he runs Mew, which is like, obviously Mew is a strong support in the meta, but Mewtwo is the like the one character that like people say it's very not relevant. On. Like, he doesn't really feed or with support. Doesn't really like benefit super like a lot from crit buffs. Uh, partially because he doesn't really get almost any moves that change on crit property, and also um, he, the crit part of the crit property or part of the crit buff benefit is that you're getting more synergy with that hit. And again, he's not really feeling so really interesting that he because he just loves Mew. Mew's just his favorite Pokemon, so he uses Mew and he makes it work. He has a lot of interesting ideas. There's a lot of interesting things like when you get buffs with Mewtwo, you hit the damage boost. You guys don't know there's a damage boost that combos in the game. So once you hit that, combos start doing way less damage really fast. You kind of hit that peak, and then you can kind of save your piece. Be like, all right, I hit as much damage as I'm, oh, as I'm pretty much going to drop in. I have this phase for longer. Interesting way to end full phase. It's interesting to see how he... But we have Chainy Matt going Shadow Mewtwo this time, not Mewtwo. Not. All right. And with Titty going with Chandelure, both players bite in their faces, but Chainy Matt decided to on the side strike to get... <laughs> with TD off. All right, I was not expecting a Shadow Mewtwo. I was, I wasn't aware he was playing Shadow Mewtwo. Uh, maybe it's a recent pickup. Maybe he's playing from three for three or something. Uh, Shadow Mewtwo is very good, and I think that Mewtwo players, even though they're very opposed characters, can generally feel at home with some of the ideas you use to approach this character. Oh, we're using this burst attack really close. Can Shandy actually punish that? I don't know if Shandy can punish that without like an attack buff. Oh, that's a lot of damage though. Was TD making a great use of her yep. uh, of their reversals? As you saw, one overheat can change the outcome for the entire match. Definitely, especially in this matchup. Shenmue two having much lower HP pool than a lot of characters. Yep, oh, fast candy now, Pokemon. Yeah, especially <laughs> when they have like like Shenmue applies all these debuffs. She can apply a, a defense down, and she can hit you with that overheat. Where's the character like Shenmue two? That's a lot of damage, man. It's a lot <laughs> yes, of damage. Yes. Shadow Mewtwo also having a very weak shield, so he has to be very careful what he blocks in field base. Luckily, he has a great field base, so he can move around a lot more stuff than other things. His so dash vortex. So we saw Chain and Matt got double buffs with him, you. Causing a lot of damage. Mm, and this is gonna be the this is gonna be the round. <laughs> wow. Trainer Matt just demonstrating what happens when he gets those double buffs. He says he has like great synergy with Mew. He he thinks that he's like connected with the double buffs, man. He believes. Like, it's reminiscent of Wing Chun. Like, he believes, man. He bets on it. And he gets it a lot. Uh, it's it's weird. It's crazy. Uh, but he's just showing, like, what what you could do with those double buffs. You just need, like, a few hits. You get to make the dual phase last so long, but not sacrifice damage. It's really interesting. Great man off to use JX twice in and oh. into a void. But Smog <laughs> becoming activated. I didn't know Smog activation was a pierce. <laughs> until just now. <laughs> that was really funny. Vortex activated Smog because it counts as a projectile. That's hilarious. I love that. <laughs> Also, projectile cancer can also activate this box, such as the. Yes. Uh, about running, running the mix ups right now, running the. making Wasidi run the gauntlet. And that's gonna be it, Ooh, getting that it. meaty forward Y. Wasidi was probably trying to get. get reposition maybe, trying to get out of there, but Trainer was like, no, I'm shouting me too, I locked you down, I'm in first, you can do nothing. <laughs> yep. You gotta wait. Bow down to me. Bow down. <laughs> Bow down to you over. Yes. I also have bluff your entire planet. <laughs> okay, it's a simulation. It's like the real world. Simulation. Yeah. I know we were talking earlier about how Mew is not as strong a support on Mew, but I'm curious what you think about Shadow Mew too and Mew. Well, Shadow Mew too, he benefits a lot more from synergy because, as you can see, like he he wants to burst like every he will burst every round. He's Shadow Mew too. He he has uh he's t he's in the first tier for like fastest to build synergy and also he has like the set, like one of the best field faces in the entire game so he's winning field a lot unlike a lot of the other ones characters and 
he has a fast charge. So he builds his support really fast. It's very short, but extremely strong. So you kind of, you, like, you have to pick and choose your times, but once you're in it, and you're gone. Vortex. <laughs> yeah, those are all very good points, my team. Yep. Fanny Matt landed a Nemesis Spike. Good enough. Very nice. Yeah. Was he just kind of getting pleasure? Yeah, was he just kind of getting overwhelmed right now? He can't really find a place to like move. I, I feel like was is the kind of player who likes to defensively move into like different spots. And shot is oh. a very restricting character. Ooh, light light ring right through that uh, that smog. Uh, the second hit is a light. You have to get hit by the first hit to take hits down in burst. Uh, when you're a burst. Uh, but yeah, I think we is just having trouble like finding where he can move out of situations. I feel like he just wants to like walk away, but you can't do that very much with a shadow ring And if you can, you have to know exactly when. Very, very like suffocating, I'd say. He landed, Ooh, but doing very minimal damage. Very minimal damage. I think that Jandy might have taken as much damage or maybe more than Shadow in that exchange. Uh but still getting the the positional advantage. But just like that. Shadow has burst, so he just pushed push Rashidi right back into that corner. Miss TD down to 81 health. This could end right here, folks. If, <laughs> but Miss TD can make a comeback. Just Definitely can. On the right track. Ooh. A nice hex from Miss TD. Very nice hex. Using that command grab, condition him to not block so he can land all these hits. Oh! Oh, a lot of pressure here on Miss TD. Good nice answer. Excellent use of Umbreon to kind of get out of the situation. Oh, oh but that's, that's going to be it. That's it. Pretty much taking it. Yeah, I didn't know that he shot him, had a shot at Mewtwo, but this is definitely a much better matchup uh, for Shot Mewtwo than it is for Mewtwo, so I, I understand the pick for sure. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think the Matt was very prepared for